Rotoscopers YouTube. My name is Chelsea Robson and I'm Morgan Stradling and today we are doing a review but not just any review this is a new review and today it is the art of DreamWorks Rise of the Guardians. Story time! So in case you don't know Rise of the Guardians is a DreamWorks movie it was released November 2012 and it's about the guardians of the children so there is Easter Bunny there is Santa Claus, there is the Tooth Fairy, and don't forget Sandman, of course. Of course! And they recruit Jack Frost to become their new member of their gang, um, in one way or shape or another, and uh, they have to protect the children from Pitch, aka the Boogeyman, who has taken over the world and taken over the dreams of the children, and chaos ensues and gets crazy. So this book is about the making of and how they did it. Not much is happening from the cover and you open it up and BAM! you see essentially the f six main characters that are going to follow this book. So the book is pretty awesome in the fact that it stays true to each character. So you kind of get to discover that character and the world that surrounds that character. So a big thank you goes out to Titan Books. They actually provided us the review copy of this. Titan Books is the distributor publisher in the UK for this book and it's also Insight Editions in the USA. So go check Titan Books out. They do a lot of these making up books. For example, they gave us The Art of Hotel Transylvania, which was another very good one. So check their website out and yeah, go to the Amazon link to buy more of Titan Books. I was looking through it as well and I just, I loved it. It was so pretty. Like a lot of the concept arts are very different, like nothing like you see in the movie, but at least but at the same time, it's quite a bit like it. I don't know. There's just different. <laughs> uh, for example, the evolution of the Sandman, he was kind of, he was all jolly before too. I was like, oh, you're cute. <laughs> <laughs> but, and there was one other page that I really caught my attention. It basically shows you the flow of like a movie studio and how it all comes together and who's in charge of what and it's just it was very informative I'm like I'm gonna be studying that someday <laughs> <laughs> yeah and what I like about this book is that you really get to learn um, you know about the backgrounds about the characters about the coloring the color palette and it's different from every world to world yeah okay. it's not too text heavy so if you don't like to read this is gonna be okay for you <laughs> but the the text is really informational and it helps you understand the making of the movie, why they change things, and uh, how the movie ended up in the form that we see it today, which is really beautiful and very much underappreciated in my mm -hmm. opinion. Exactly. All in all, I give the art of DreamWorks Rise of the Guardians four and a half stars. This is a really, really, really good book. It's beautiful. This is a book that any animation fan would want in their collection. Another one of my 100 things I want in the world, or things to do in my lifetime, is I want a collection of the art and making of books. So thankfully I can definitely keep this one in my collection and this is one that if you have on your coffee table you will be proud to show people because they are going to pick it up and they are just going to start flipping through it and yeah. realizing wow this is really cool it's a wonderful coffee table book <laughs> keep guests entertained and animation lovers will love it and we love you so until next time we, we are the rotoscopers, rotoscopers.